So now it's interesting. Welcome in the woods. <laughs> ah, lots of bugs around here. I went to the local supermarket to buy something different and I saw those here. They had two different kinds, the one made out of metal, the one I took, and one out of plastic. It runs on three double A's. It has the standard mechanism that even works, except... Oh, I broke my little hanging much here. <laughs> Stay tuned. So, much better. <laughs> Yeah, it just twist the fuel knob and it comes on. You turn it up and it slowly increases in brightness. It does have a little conic reflector up here. Whew, just those mosquitoes are really trying to get a dinner out of me. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, little of a thing, but... I will add a frosted glass to give it a bit of a better appearance. <laughs> More details when I'm out of the mosquito soon. So, quite spooky, isn't it? No, don't worry. We're just in my garage. I have blocked the window with a bit of cardboard and now I'm going to show you this later in operation. So this is lowest setting and then I slowly can crank it up. It's very fine adjustable, that's something I like. And this is maximum. Light output wise, well, I say less bright than a oil powered one but really not bad the only thing that really looks um, not good is you know, all the LEDs down here and this cone thing so adding a frosted glass is a very good idea but as you see let's set it down on this pile of Unsorted stuff. <laughs> that's not junk, that's future projects. So, yeah, <laughs> it's enough light to see everything here. It's not really bright, but, well, if you're camping in a tent or so, well, it's nice. One thing to note is uh, it's definitely not waterproof, so it's nothing to hang outside. I mean, the switch here is completely unisolated, so this will eventually give problems. The light is a rather soft warm, not too warm. You can't really tell because the camera is cracking for the white, but it's nice enough. You can have it on at night at a lower setting when you sleep in your tent and when I have light when you wake up to see if Bigfoot is kissing your teeth. Your teeth, your toes. <laughs> if he's kissing your teeth, he's too close. Just give up and let him do. <laughs> but yeah, I paid nine bucks for it. Well, not bad. They had two versions: one out made out of plastic with filament LEDs, and this one. But I took the metal one. It is a legit metal lantern housing. You can even push the lever that you push to light the lantern. 
I did you see the PCB with the wires coming up? <laughs> so yeah, neat. And I will probably end up um, building a lithium-ion battery and a charging controller in it. So you can run it from the built-in battery or just from double A's to make it a bit more multi-purpose. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, probably frosted glass. That's it's more blinding than biting. So this is a good compression here. So you can see the wall and every detail, and then it just it's totally washed out. Yeah, hope you've enjoyed this little review of this lantern. And so. Here you can see what I've paid. Na eight ninety nine. I paid cash. And I have to keep this receipt if it breaks. So hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time here at the Adventures Club. And don't forget, even if it looks like Bigfoot, smells like Bigfoot and acts like Bigfoot, don't shoot it. It might just be your mother-in-law. <laughs> so, and now, time.